Hello fellow Total Warriors, I am Zardar and welcome to another online battle from Warhammer 2. So this time again we're playing the second battle against Falcon from the best of five and uh, we're playing as the Skaven and we're up against Dark Elves. So uh, let's get it done quickly. For the army composition we got uh, for me a tide of uh, Skaven Slave Spears as you can see over here, four of them. Four Skaven, uh, no, five, six, how the hell, how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six Skaven slaves uh, with standard weapons. We also got two units of uh, Plague Monk Sabers over here. In order to uh, have some little bit of armor piercing and anti-infantry. Well, they don't have anti-infantry, but they're meant to fight uh, somewhat uh, infantry. Uh, they also get uh, the contamination, contaminated, which reduces leadership by minus 10, which is gonna help a lot with the fear and terror that I'm gonna be bringing. So, uh, we also get two units of rat ogres, one on each side, mostly for the mass, uh, and uh, they can do some really good work, they get armor piercing, they get frenzy, so uh, as long as we keep them running, they're gonna be fine. Two help it abominations uh, over here. Yep, and uh, the reason I brought these guys is because uh, I knew that Falcon will, would not expect them. <laughs> that's that's the only reason. You get, I, I had to uh, think out of the box, because uh, he probably already had read uh, what I would bring with Skaven, so I had to bring something else. Also, we got a Grey Seer of Plague over here as our leadership with just the Warp, Stone, Warp Storm Scroll and the Vermintide, just to summon rats and also, you know, the Scorch and other such uh, like abilities. And on this one we got uh, the Pestilent Breath to summon more Plague Monks and more Vermintide. So pretty much uh, what I'm gonna do is just try to storm him with just uh, cheap rats, stack uh, some uh, Plague Monks sens sensor bears on top of it to uh, do some uh, work with where he's least expecting it. And yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at Falcon's army. So over here he's got uh, three Dark Riders got deployed with seals which are gonna be uh, harassing my uh, backline, although I don't have much of a backline, but still, they're gonna be uh, a nuisance. Anyway, for uh, for the main army, we got two Cold One uh, Knights, uh, good anti-large armor piercing, and uh, yeah, they're gonna be a huge problem to my Rat Ogres and the rest of the army. For the front line, we get uh, two Bleak Swords and some Dread Spears, being backed by Sisters of Slo Slaughter and Witch Elves, and actually one is the Sisters of Dooming, uh, Singing Doom, which cause terror, if I'm correct. Yep, I stand corrected. Um, for his magic, he chose to go with Dark, always a good choice. He's got that Blade Wind because uh, he kind of expected huge blobs of uh, infantry and against slightly uh, armored targets, this thing d does a lot of damage. So uh, yeah, Falcon thought right over there. He also got Word of Pain and the Power of Darkness to just keep popping uh, extra magic. For his leadership, He's got uh, Kron Helebron with the Gaze of Cain, the Amulet of Darkfire to reduce magic attacks, which is always a good case against the uh, Skaven, and also the Cursed Blade, which does damage to all nearby enemies. So immediately we're gonna begin, we're not gonna stop against his Dark Riders, he can just charge all he wants to my slaves, it's not a big deal, I have plenty, and uh, yeah, we're just uh, gonna keep on rolling, and we're gonna drop on the front line like a bomb. So over here the tides are advancing, the uh, Doombell is going in, the help it as well, the other one too, and yeah, it's just gonna be a massacre over here, and with the Witch Elves uh, pinning down um, half of my forces, it's gonna be a crazy affair. Sensor Bears are topping up uh, against these uh, Dread Spears and Witch Elves, and they're gonna be doing some uh, really heavy work with the backup of the uh, Slaves over here, and they won't be taking too much of a damage. <coughs> Excuse me. Cold One Knights over here just uh, marching up against the Helpit Abomination, a Blade Wind going on top of the Rat Ogres as well and the Steep Slaves, which is gonna uh, get a lot of kills. How many kills? Oh my dear lord, Sis got 215 kills already and it's been how much time? Like, this is just the charge. <laughs> the battle has not even begun and look at the kill count of that thing. Holy hell. And if I remember correctly, Falcon told me that he was casting it at the same time that I was summoning, uh, because when the units are summoned, they're all blobbed up. So if you manage to get a spell on top of them immediately, and uh, especially if there's uh, more rats all around it, all around them, they're not gonna be doing. Uh, th it's just gonna annihilate them, and uh, this is the reason for 215 kills in just a few seconds. 
So over here only, only my help it uh, is gonna remain along with the Grace here and the Plague Priest So I'm just gonna try to get away from here because this is a huge pocket But over here the uh, sensor bearers are doing quite well. Have the other ones broken already? Sorry for that, that's my phone uh, I think they have like Is that them? No, where's my other sensor bearers? We get one over here, but where are the others? I can't see them anyway Balance of power against uh, my favor because my uh, plan didn't work out. Like all the cheap slaves just uh, seeded, uh, conceded over here, and as you can see, they're all running. One helped abomination is staying back here to defend and back up the sensor bearers because they are my only anchor of infantry at the moment. If I let all of his infantry just uh, blow up on me, it's gonna be a huge, huge problem. All I can do at the moment is just uh, keep summoning plague monks. The Plague Monks are gonna do a, a great job against Witch Elves, Dread Spears and everything, they don't have high armor and uh, they have really high uh, anti-infantry bonus if I'm correct. Yeah, they get anti-infantry on top of Frenzy, so they're gonna be doing just as fine. At least we have uh, so far managed to destroy his Cold One Knights, which uh, as I said was pretty much the only threat against uh, my large uh, entities like the... Uh, the uh, Helped Abominations and the Doom Bells. Uh, only one remains as you can see over here and just uh, down to almost uh, half 5% uh, uh, health. Over here as you can see the Sensor Bears are holding quite nicely. We also get a nice Scorch over here just uh, roasting these Dread Spears and these uh, Scissors of Slaughter. And uh, from here on it's gonna be a micromanagement of just trying to rally all the forces and get them back to uh, the field. Over here we get a nice terror bomb. Uh, I think Falcon over here dropped the spell. Ah, he dropped it on my summoned plague, monk, plague monks. Like the minute they were summoned, you look at this, they just got them destroyed. So nice play for Fel from Falcon over here. Yes, he did a little bit of damage to the Sisters of Singing Doom, but he uh, one spell uh, which cost like five, six winds of magic just completely destroyed the whole summon of plague monks woods which would destroy them uh, the whole uh, army over here anyways like uh, the sisters or the uh, not the sisters yeah the, uh, the dread spear sorry than the uh, the witch elves over here so finally some rat ogres are coming back the bounce of power finally for the first time in my favor uh, although he's got a lot of spears and a lot of infantry stacked uh, on top of me I get some leftover sensor bears over here which are fighting uh, valiantly against these tide of dark elves which uh, have managed to survive and uh, yeah over here we get a nice wrap on on here uh, on his uh, sorcerers and she's up to 352 kills already rat ogres i'm not gonna try to get them in here because they're gonna just keep uh, get cycle charged and they're probably gonna break so i'm just gonna leave them here where they're currently winning the battle and even here as you can see they broke so it's gonna be up to these Kevin slaves to uh, just keep this uh, hag, uh, lady old hag, uh, occupied. Well, she's not old, but uh, you know what I mean. Over here, we're just uh, trying to keep our monster safe. One help with abomination is uh, getting struck with uh, with word of fame, so it can't do that much of a damage. And uh, Queen Hellebron even sees uh, all around these entities over here. She's really, really doing quite well, staying alive. I can't get a nice hit on her. I was expecting like a large target like a dragon or something and uh, hence the reason for the uh, double help it abomination and also to think out of the box as I said and yeah I think one of my help it's is actually gonna go down actually the one that was uh, that was uh, wounded as you can see get uh, the too horrible to die so its health came a little bit back but Celebron is just not gonna leave that thing alone the, the grace here the plague priest is actually getting into a nasty situation over here against the dark riders i'm gonna move both of the helpets just to terrorize them and send them away and even though the balance of power now starts to tilt in my favor and possibly the whole battle <laughs> falcon still manages to uh keep striking my uh help it over here and i think he's gonna manage to kill it if i'm correct uh, let me see, it's up to a thousand health, it's regenerating, some rat ogres over here just uh, wavering already, even though this is a huge pocket for me, and yes, see, it's gonna go down as you can see, I don't know what struck it, oh, sorry, it didn't go down, <laughs> now it, it went down, it's, uh, it's alright though, at least it managed to uh, summon some Skaven Slave Spears, and uh, yeah, Dark Riders, just keep on cycle charging, using even the weakest of cavalries uh, into great extent that's for who falcon is and uh, yeah from here on it's just gonna be a giant moss pit he's gonna be getting rallying units back but he's got like nothing to uh, kill my uh, monsters i tried to take out the cold one knights early on and uh, i succeeded so from here on it's gonna be just uh, 
army losses penalty and finally we're gonna get our first win against Falcon so as you can see here it was a huge monsters mass um, my army did uh, quite well especially my big monsters and even the sensor bears one of them look at that 127 kills 13 for the other probably it was uh, just being cycled set by uh, dark riders and sats they have really low armor so anything can destroy them quite easily uh, my Grey Seers and uh, Plague Priest did quite well, 126 kills for this guy, and uh, yeah, overall, I think uh, we did fine. So for Falcon, I really like his army, look at the kills of this lady, <laughs> 384, as soon as I saw that I was like, dude, what the hell were you casting? Queen uh, Hellebron over here, just uh, 31 kills, but she did quite a good job just going after the uh, Hellbit Abomination, she managed to kill one uh, by herself, almost. <clears throat> His front line actually did quite well, and as you can see, the Sisters of Slaughter over here just completely decimated everything. And even the Dark Riders, how often do you see Dark Riders with 236 kills? Uh, you see what I mean? Falcon and his goddamn cavalry. This is why I didn't bother with uh, good infantry, I just went for chip crop and big uh, monsters that could actually fight back. And uh, yeah, his Cold One Knights did quite okay, but as I said, it was my main focus as soon as I saw them, because it was the only thing that could... Uh, kill these one, two, three, four guys, possibly the Rat Ogres as well. For the rest I didn't care, because I all I was trying to do was get as many summons as I could. And uh, yeah, we managed to win, so uh, GG to Falcon, finally my first victory against him. And um, yeah, I don't think he's really great with Dark Elves, to be honest. So uh, it was kind of uh, an easy step for me an easy not easy win it wasn't easy it's falcon but uh, yeah i think his dark elves is not like his primary focus he he plays like high elves and lizardmen and stuff like that and he is far more greater with those uh with those factions but anyway we still did fine so i really hope you enjoyed guys feel free to leave a like or a comment feel free to subscribe and uh hit that notification button and yeah see you next time bye bye